What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are going over the new glove box detail box that showed up. Fun fact, I just got this box. It was delivered to my neighbor's house. Apparently it was sitting in their hallway. I forgot all about it because I don't keep track of time and I'm a dummy. So I didn't realize and then finally somebody brought it over while I was standing in the garage and they were like, hey, guess what? This has been in our hallway for like X amount of days, maybe a week plus. That's ridiculous, but whatever. Life's been chaotic. I had the Escalade show up. In case you didn't watch that video, go watch that video. So that showed up and that's been gone since Monday. Today's Thursday. I should be getting that back hopefully Monday or Tuesday. It's got a couple things getting done to it, which we will cover in a video and it should be a pretty fun video So I'm excited for it and that should kickstart a bunch of other mods But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is my glove box detail box and I have to show love to the glove box detail team for sending this and I don't want to not do a video So if you're not familiar with this subscription box, it is a subscription box You pay for the box it comes to you and you have no idea what's in it, it comes with little mystery items You don't know what you're gonna get until you get it It's almost like Christmas if Santa Claus was real and Santa Claus was into detailing supplies and That's what this is pretty cool pretty cool. So what do we got here? Let's open it up and stop talking um, I opened the crack of it to uh, tape everything and so I didn't have to have sharp objects in my hands because I'm prone to cutting myself and bleeding because that's just no way dude okay oh oh get the hell out of here what no they fixed it! Am I blind? Yo! I've complained about that bottle doing the danger and it was... God damn it, everything's near me. Near me? Hear me? I actually did a video rigging this thing up janky as all hell because this sucked! This bottle was one of my favorite, like aesthetically, and the sprayer, I love these bottles. They look so cool. Look, even this one. What the hell is in this one? I don't even know what the hell I put in here. They just look cool as hell. I love the IK sprayers. But one of the biggest flaws, the fatal flaw, was this. I don't understand what this was. So I wrapped, I mean this made it bearable, but this, holy shit. This feels really nice. What did they do? It's an add-on. Mother of God. Can I buy this? Can I buy just this? Probably not, right? Right? That means I'm going to probably have to buy this. Can't buy this. Why would I be able to buy this? That would probably make no sense. Although, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to talk out of my ass like I usually do. Oh, look at that. Wow, you fancy. You freaking fancy. This is cool, and it's a mini bottle, too. Oh, this is a stubby little mofo. I like it. I like it. I'm already... I don't need to see a damn thing in that box right now. I'm chilling. I'm happy. This is cool. Look at this thing! Yo! Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah! What? I dig it. I definitely dig it. I like it. I'm a fan. I always like these bottles. That sucks because I was trying not to buy more stuff and spend more money, of course. Thanks, glove box detail. Now I'm going to have to go and... That's annoying, but once you got liquid in there... Uh, this isn't detailing product, by the way. This is... This used to be called stripper scent, but some Karen somewhere probably got freaking offended complained and then they changed it to signature scent. I should just write stripper scent. I don't know what the hell a stripper smells like, to be honest with you. I've never actually been to a strip club. Fun OCD fact, have no clue what the hell a stripper smells like. But I can imagine that that combination of vanilla and sweaty chocha 
that could be that. I don't know, but it smells good. I don't know what a sweaty chocha mixed with vanilla smells like, but there it is, whatever that is. And this is the bottle I use a lot. This is Ethos Defy, and I like it. This sprayer, awesome. This bottle, this is cute as shit. I know it sounds weird for a dude in his 30s to say cute as shit, but this is freaking cute as shit. I, I dig it. The hell else is in here? Towels, gotcha. I don't know what kind of bukkake stain happened in there, but probably something opened a little tiny bit. I'm not a fan of black towels um, at all. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can use them on wheels. I just don't like dark, dark, dark towels um, because you can't tell necessarily when it's soiled. To me, when you use like a neon colored or some fruity ass color towel, you know, you can you can tell like these kind of towels. I have these sometimes. The only time I would ever really use like a dark color towel. I know a lot of people, like I said, they do, you know, the wheels and stuff. But for me, it would be like uh, wiping off a wax or something. If it's a plush towel or something, this probably not much uh, other than maybe engine bay door jams. Possibly, I I just. Odds are I'm gonna wipe my hands or my butt with that thing. I'm not gonna actually use it. Sorry guys I don't you know, I don't hold back. What the hell is this? Itchy what the freaking hell icked what the hell ick itch batter I, I know I can read it's just the, the way it's like written down. I feel like it was in German for a second Am I stupid? I don't know. Don't answer the question. What the hell is flaking off here? Is this dandruff? What is this shit? What the hell is going on? Holy mother of God. It's, it's ickenbacking at me. Okay, Jesus Christ on a cross. What is this? Well, that explains the cloth. Hello? What do you got going on here? Wait. Oh man, it's squirting. This is turning into a freaking rated R video already. I don't know how this always happens to me. Can't quite come to terms with it, but. Okay, it's an ultra premium scratch remover. Itch batter, cool. Flawless scratch and swirl remover. I mean, I'm always down to try new, um, ew. I mean, it doesn't smell like, it could be an itchy asshole. I don't know, This there was like a stench in this box. Itchy asshole, itch batter, something going on with that. But I'm sorry, like, so listen, here's what you do. When you get a box like this, you're not always going to be 100% like on every product. You're going to get 90% of the time like something you want to try. This totally makes the whole box worth it for me. Chilling. Uh, what else is in here? Real quick. A rinseless wash and gloss. I like rinseless wash. I know some people are not into um, rinseless washes. So again, look, it covers spectrums. And usually what they do is... Okay, look, say you could use this with your itchy butthole batter, and then you got a cool S spray bottle that I guess you could use if you put the rinseless wash into a bucket, and then you wanna like pre-treat, you're gonna dunk your little mini in there into the mixture after it's done, by the way, and then you're gonna use that. There's your diluted mixture. Soak the panel and then go in with a rinseless. I know some people, like I said, they're just like not about that rinseless life. Um, fun fact, again, I got a lot of fun facts. I used, this just recently before I dropped the Escalade off and I actually really like it. It's like baby batter, like it, it looks like penis puke. If you've ever used this before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Very thick, creamy stuff, kind of like on the hmm, cringy side, but smells freaking awesome. Doesn't smell like penis puke, smells awesome. So it's cool and I dig it. What else is in here other than more dandruff, this kind of stuff, talking about the mini 360. So I'm assuming 360, cause it's got that weighted, it's like, is it, I guess it is kind of like weighted. So maybe it should be, I guess you can use it upside down. I don't know. Can you? It's like every language but English. Is there English? I mean, it's in there. Yeah, it is. It's just hidden on the first line with everything else. I can't read. Cause I got shiny lights in my face everywhere. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, and here we go. That's their veteran-owned, detailer-owned 
and this is just their cool ass thing so like i said i'm gonna link down below as always in my heart i think you should uh definitely go check it out you can use code ocd holy mother you can use code ocd at the checkout uh, I don't get anything for that. That's just for you. So you can go find anybody else affiliated with Glovebox and use their code. Like I said, I'm not pushing an agenda. I personally don't need you to use my code. These videos are so you could see a cool ass product, you know, and you know, something happened where this like opens up. That's not on them. That's that could be this lithium bottle, but it is what it is. This looks cool. Scratch and swirl remover. I dig it. I'm going to put it in here, but I'm very much about the shine supply, polish life. And then, you know, my my big thing is the last cut with the final polish. I, I'm big into those things. I'm also heavy into Oberk. Lots of... I, I'm a creature of habit. So trying new polish for me. So like I said, it's not every box isn't going to have everything for me. But I will mess with the rinseless wash. Now, washing gloss, you're going to see why that's not a huge thing that I'm going to use on my personal vehicle, but this is going to go on the wife's vehicle if I want quick quick wash and, you know, any friend's vehicles, or you can just mix this to whatever you want. You can use this as a quick spray. You can use a rinseless wash in a spray bottle like a waterless wash. Uh, there's, rinseless washes are very cool, so this definitely has some value to me, and I think it's a cool box specifically because of this. The reason why I'm not happy about this is because this is going to cost me money. And, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's what I got for you. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you are interested in trying it, head on down below and check it out. You can go, like I said, use code OCD. Uh, and you never know what you're going to get. You know, life is like a box of chocolates or something like that. This is cool. Go check it out. Glove box detail. I'll leave their Instagram and their stuff below. Definitely cool stuff. This won my heart. It's so much better. It feels like if I get a tight grip, it compresses perfect. I feel like I've got all, all the commands in the world. When you turn this, that piece is going to come down and it's going to suck from here. So I think this sprays upside down. I don't don't quote me on anything. I have no idea about that, but you know, I like these sprayers. They're just these are just like really like they atomize really nicely. And that's an air freshener, by the way. It's just it just it's great. It's great. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with glove box detail. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're an OCD OG, I truly appreciate the support. Thank you so much. And look out for the next video. I think, like I said, on the next video, we will have the Escalade back. Once I do the little reveal on what we had dropped this off, I'll be able to start getting into the mods. We got floor mats. We got Rotofab intake. We got dash cams coming out of our Wazula. And there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's going to be an exhaust order. There's a lot of things. We will get into it and I will film each and every thing. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope everybody's staying happy, healthy, and humble. I'll see you guys on the next one.